Through Brewsters in McDonough, Georgia, Terry Milling and Aaron Streeter were able to start Friends Helping Friends. They've been best friends since kindergarten. And then Terry got sick. She was diagnosed with a rare form of liver cancer. Instead of growing apart, they became even closer. Some of my friends, like, they think it's weird because I don't have as much hair as them or that I might have a line in me sometimes. But, like, Erin, she's just, like, she's seen me before and she's, and she's still friends with me even though I may not be the same. I think I just feel really close to her and I can trust her with anything. So it really didn't matter whether she had cancer or not. We were still going to be best friends. When it was learned that Terry's case was terminal, the McDonald Brewsters raised funds and anonymously donated the money to grant Terry's wish to go to American Girl in New York. But the story doesn't end there. These best friends had another idea. We got the idea when we were playing American Girl dolls. She said, my mom is like paying a fortune for me. And I go, yeah. and she goes, well maybe like, the, if there was only a way to like pay off our bills and everything. And I go, you know what, that's not a bad idea. And she goes, what if we could like help every other kid who has a certain type of cancer or who's at least sick. Inspired by Christina Parker's own cancer surviving story, the girls united with her and set out to accomplish their goals by having a fundraiser event at Brewster's. It started out as a taste for Terry. The first year, it was really just to help Terry, to raise her hope. Um, the doctors were saying that she wasn't gonna live, and so to give her something to look forward to each month. What we didn't realize was the ripple effect that it would have of not only giving Terry hope and helping finances and giving her a voice, but that it would help this community come together and how big these events would be. And because of the Brewster's brand and the Brewster's name, we had, um, we had some credibility um, that, that got people onto our lot, that brought people to us. We didn't even have to do a whole lot of reaching out because of the Brewster's logo and the Brewster's name and the Brewster's concept and the Brewster's product, people came to us. When we put it together, we were like, okay, it's just gonna be a little carnival thing. We're gonna just have a couple of inflatables. You know, I get out there and I get to have fun with the kids every once in a while while I'm helping out inside the store. But it just grew and grew from a small little kind of carnival style into this huge, massive, like, fair. And we asked the girls, we said, do you want to do this? The girls, meaning Terry and Aaron, do you want to do this again next year? They said, well, we'll talk about it. And I guess one day on the back from tennis practice or wherever, they talked about it and about wanting to get other children inside of the community involved and that they wanted to call it Friends Helping Friends. Um, well, that was actually on the original logo, and there are two little stick people, and on the bottom I put Friends Helping Friends. And when more kids came, we couldn't call it Taste for Terry anymore, because it wasn't like one person. I see these little girls, I see, I see Terry, and I see Erin, and I see them setting an example for a community that sometimes truly doesn't know how to care for each other. And then you look at that next ripple and you look at cute little Austin and Faith, who now are modeling after Terry and Aaron. I met Faith at Brewster's. Well, she's this cancer kid from Friends Helping Friends. And she just, and she's not the cancer kid anymore. She's just, is over her cancer. There is a short term goal that Aaron has. I wish every single Brewsters would be able to get involved with Friends Loving Friends. It would be like so <laughs> cool and like fun and great. <laughs> Terry and Aaron both thought this would be something they could do to make other children, and people aware that other children are going through this as well, what, what we can do to help. And that was just such a grown-up idea for people who were nine years old at the time. The compassion that I've seen develop in her is uh, really remarkable. It, um, it just fills me up. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. With the help of the McDonald Brewsters, Friends Helping Friends has raised over $83,500 in the last two years and is gaining momentum to become a national organization. Even with all the success and notoriety, Terry keeps everything in perspective. 
that means a lot that maybe all this money can find a cure one day, maybe. If we keep on doing what we're doing.